and around here. Are you yeah. confident? You're going on, ambas- on uh, President Zelensky to fire Ambassador Markarov. I did. Could you explain this and also tell uh, what if she wouldn't be fired? Well, listen, I, I sent a letter to um, President Zelensky today because the ambassador crossed the line, and I, and I think she uh, she involved him in that. They, they made a uh, campaign stop on behalf of the, uh, the Democratic Party and effectively have given a tacit endorsement uh, to Kamala Harris. That's not what we need our allies to be doing or any foreign nation. I think it's election interference, and I think it's an, an unforgivable trespass, and I think the ambassador... Uh, needs to take responsibility for that and be terminated. So I, I asked him to do that immediately, and I think that's an Mr. important Speaker, request. Are you confident in your ability to stay Speaker if you do keep the majority? There's been colleagues that have been outspoken against you. Are you confident they can have Yeah, a look, I, I, I believe in a, in a healthy contest if it comes to that. But, um, look, we, we have had, by all admission, this has been one of the most complicated uh, speakerships in, in the history of the Congress. I mean, uh, Newt Gingrich posted an op-ed five months ago in the Washington Times and said, Johnson has the most challenging speakership since the Civil War. And I, I called him and I said, Newt, are you trying to encourage me? He said, no, I, did you read the rest of it? I said, you're doing an excellent job. It's just the jobs have become impossible. And they talked, you know, everybody's recognized, you all have written about the historically small margin that we had, the smallest in U.S. history for about five months, one vote margin. So um, I think we navigated some very difficult terrain and unprecedented challenging times, and we got through it, and we're going to win uh, the election cycle because of that. And so I intend, having been forged through that fire and developed that um, leadership, um, you know, I intend to, to offer my, uh, my my services for that going forward. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. 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 will be here in the Capitol tomorrow. Will you meet with him? And if not, are you not meeting with him because of his trip to Pennsylvania? No, no I, I wasn't able to schedule a meeting with Zelensky this week because I had a very busy one, as you all might have uh, noticed. And I don't even think I'll be in town now tomorrow. So, um, but look, I, what I would have communicated to him if we sat down, we would have talked about this letter about the ambassador. It's, it's a, uh, it, it's, I think it was a very terrible development, and it strains the relations between the two na- nations at a time that um, that's very unfortunate uh, for Ukraine. So uh, I regret that. Yeah. Is that a threat to stop violence? No, I'm, I'm not making any threats. I mean, I, I'll leave my comments to the content of the letter, which I know you've all seen, but I, I do think it requires uh, immediate uh, attention and action, and I think you should terminate the ambassador and move forward with somebody who understands the appropriate lines for our allies uh, to to uh, regard. We're in the middle of a, a hotly contested national election, and we don't need uh, foreign countries intervening and uh, and letting their opinions be heard at a time like this. I've, I've, I've expressed the same to our allies around the world, all that I've talked to. Uh, Americans should decide American elections without foreign interference. That's a really important principle. Anything else? Should yes. Biden yeah. rule the ambassador as a persona non grata? I'm not sure what Joe Biden is going to do. I wouldn't expect any action on his part. Uh, he hasn't done a whole lot. Would you call, yeah. you call on Zelensky? Would you call Biden and do something about him as well? I'm not sure Biden has any responsibility over the Ukrainian ambassador, but I hope that he would echo uh, my concerns, and uh, I think everybody should. So. Thank you all so much.